Hi everyone. I just got some new Earl Grey tea leaves from Rishi. I have searched the earth for my favorite Earl Grey and I think honestly this might be it. So I'll link it down below if you are a fellow Earl Grey lover. But anyway, it has been a minute since I did a dedicated closet video. And recently I've just been re-inspired to really just be intentional and minimalistic in my wardrobe. The other day, like maybe two or three weeks ago, I just like brutally went through my wardrobe and I basically cut my wardrobe in half. What I've recently started doing again is tracking my outfits, which I did this a while back, but I stopped. And so I literally just on a piece of cardstock and pencil wrote down literally everything that's in my closet currently. And basically I'm just putting like tallies next to them when I wear it. And for me, this is just going to really help to see what I actually wear. And kind of my perspective is if it's the right season for a specific piece and I haven't worn it in the past three months, then I don't think I'm gonna wear it in the next three months. So I should probably declutter it. And the way I've been decluttering recently is I've given a few things to some friends and then I also started listing some stuff on Poshmark. There's just like just a simplicity in just a really small closet. Just kind of that joy and like really loving everything you have. And I think too like our culture is just very trendy. Instagram, Pinterest, just all these things where you see people's outfits and you think like, oh, I need that. So I have just tried to kind of just like resist all of those temptations and really just think about like who I am and what my lifestyle practically is and then how my clothes can help aid my life and add beauty to my life in their own way, but not like add so much stress and pressure and trying to dress for other people or for the culture or for trends and really just be me. So today I'm literally going to take you through every single thing I own currently. And my mindset behind this is just to kind of like show you practically how I implement these principles and just like a minimalist closet into my daily life. And then also just to inspire you to kind of do something similar in your closet. I'm no way saying like get all these pieces. That's kind of like anti what I'm saying. I'm saying look in your closet and go through and think about every single piece and maybe even start with a closet log instead of just getting rid of stuff, maybe just start with the closet log and then see what you actually wear and then kind of go from there. I brought everything down from upstairs because my closet is up there in this little tiny corner. It took a minute to bring everything down the ladder. So let's get into it. I have this one, it's like a mauve one from Target. I have two Ozma tank tops. This one I just washed and I love them. They're just like their boy tank ones. And then this one, which is in their new colorway. For t-shirts, I have this rust one from Madewell that I thrifted. This just basic black one. A white one from Mont and Beau. And then this one from Ozma also recently, um, they sent this to me. Also in the gray colorway and I've been wearing this a lot recently, I love it. Other tank tops, I just have this like gray one. I don't know, I've had it for a while. This one, this is just like kind of a scalloped tank that I think is really pretty. And then this one's just like a cropped cheetah thing. I wear this very often in the summer and spring. For turtlenecks, I have three. I have a striped one, this beige one, and then a black one. And then I have just literally one pair of gray leggings. I wore these all throughout my pregnancy because they were the most comfortable. And I still wear them whenever I want to wear like a dress with leggings or something. I got this at a secondhand shop in Seattle a couple years ago and I wear it all the time. The other two dresses are this cheetah one that I thrifted it's from American Eagle originally. This next dress is one that I actually haven't worn yet. I thrifted it a couple months ago, but it's been winter, so I haven't worn it yet, but it's just this really pretty gingham one. My husband says he likes me in dresses, so I was trying to like get a couple more dresses. I like the gingham style, I like the color of it. If you've been around for any length of time, you've probably seen these two things, which are my odd bird set. This is like a really pretty just lounge wrap dress. And then this is their like high-waisted lounge pants. But I wear them not just around the house, I wear them out all the time. It looks really cute together. 
This one I bought in a secondhand shop in London and it was like the one thing I bought for myself over there. So it's very special to me. I love the color. I love the puff sleeves. This next one is a silk blouse that I've worn before on YouTube. I really like it. I think it's very romantic. This white blouse I wear often. I just wore it yesterday, I think. It's just something I thrifted, but I love just the pearl buttons and it's just like a good practical base. Next is the one that I wore in my video last time. And it's just this cropped linen top from Ozma that I love. It was a personal purchase and it's just beautiful. I've worn it probably five times in the past couple of weeks. <laughs> this next one is a linen blouse that I have had for a really long time. I've found that out about myself that I really love linen, especially in the spring and summer. It's just so lightweight and breathable. I like these little pockets on the front that this shirt has. So yeah, this has been a staple in my closet for probably five years. <laughs> this next one is just a black linen shirt that I thrifted. I've worn it before on some Instagram posts and different things. And I like that I can unbutton it and wear it kind of as like a cover and then also use it as just a shirt in general. This one that I thrifted recently, I haven't worn it a ton just because of the weather, but I really liked it. It's from Target. This next one is from H&M originally that I thrifted. It's this beautiful red top, but I think it's really cute. I really like just puff sleeves and this kind of like square neck. And then I have my other Ozma tops. This one that I absolutely love. It's still damp because I washed it today. <laughs> but I wear this one often. I love just the buttons. And then, oh, good and faithful, my Ozma T wrap top. It is just amazing in many ways. This one I've been wearing a lot too. They just sent me this one. Love this color. And I, I just wore it like, this is like my third time this week alone. So it's definitely a favorite. <laughs> Next for cover type things, I have this one, which is just this oversized baggy blouse that I like to wear a lot in the spring and summer. This is something that I just thrifted for a dollar. I like the gold buttons. It's something that I feel like just looks very casual, but classy. This is a pair of Carhartt overalls. I have wanted a pair of overalls for literally three years. It's been on my like Taylor's thrift search list and I have not been able to find them. I just ended up getting these on Amazon, but they're great. I've worn them quite a few times this week. I love pairing these like work utility type overalls with just like a feminine blouse underneath because I think that dichotomy is just really beautiful. So yeah, just a very like comfortable but practical purchase that I have gotten a lot of joy out of. These are a pair of cream colored jeans that I thrifted. The tag is like super beat up. I did lose a little bit of weight, not intentionally, I just did. They were like tight, which is why I was not sure about them. But recently they've been like slightly baggy, so that's kind of nice. <laughs> this is a pair of black trousers that I thrifted probably two months ago, but I've worn them probably 10 times in the past two months because they're just great. They're just like a basic pair of slacks, but I just like that kind of casual work look. Next is these, um, are they linen? The brand is Hot Cotton, but they say 100% linen. I just thrifted them. They are just these like pants that I've worn a lot. They're quite baggy and the same with these pants. I have to wear this belt with them in order for them to stay on but they're just extremely comfortable and I find myself wearing them a lot. Eventually I might invest a smaller pair <laughs> of linen trousers, but for now these are something I wear quite often. And then I only have one pair of jean jeans. They're just like very like high-waisted mom jeans. They are very big. I said I lost a little bit of weight and these used to fit me quite well, but now they're like, I cannot not wear a belt with them which is a good problem to have. They are quite baggy on me, but they kind of look cute. So for now I'm kind of digging it, but eventually I might sell these or something. We'll see. We'll see how much I wear them this season. <laughs> and then another good and faithful, my Everlane black wide leg pants that I've literally had for five years. They are just like the best quality pants. They're so thick and I wear them a lot. I like just the wide leg. 
and that's another thing I discovered about myself is I had a few like skinny type jeans and I just decided to declutter those because I never wore them. I don't particularly like my body in skinny jeans and I think that's okay. And then I have these gingham trousers that I literally wore for like a week straight <laughs> around Thanksgiving time. I think they're just really cute and extremely comfortable and they go with a lot of my other stuff in my closet. And then these pair of high-waisted wide leg pants that I thrifted for a dollar. I love these pants, I love the buttons. I have this long black linen skirt that I wore in my last video. I love the skirt, it fits me great. I love the material, it's very thick. I have this skirt, it is 100% wool that I thrifted and I like this. When I wear this, I just feel like an old grandma and I love that. And it just satisfies my inspirations from various movies I've watched like I shared in my last video. <laughs> I'm not someone who likes to wear shorts very often, but I do have this pair of Lee shorts that I thrifted that are great. Then I have this pair from Land's End that I also thrifted. They're very cute and comfortable, but they're very big on me right now. But instead of just getting rid of them, I wanted to wait and see how my body was around summertime. And if they're still like too big for my liking, then I will probably sell them. This one from Baba, which you've seen before. I've had it for about a year. I love this sweater. It is just so thick. Everything from Baba is just a dream. And again, just that beige color it goes with a lot in my closet. This next one is also from Baba. I've shared about it before. When it was cold outside, I just, it lived downstairs and I just threw it on every single day. Like when I would go out for a walk with Zion or, you know, when we would go out or whatever and it was cold, it's just the best. It is the biggest sweater. It feels like a hug. And then I have this sweater from Tradelands that I got at a secondhand store. I just love the color. I love how it has like this beautiful pattern and material. It's extremely comfortable. It goes with all of my clothes and it is, it's a good fall sweater around like Thanksgiving time, November, October. It's just, it's just a good one. And then I have this one that is this kind of cropped sweater. I bought this at a thrift store in England when we went to visit my brother and I call this one my grandma sweater. And lastly, this is a sweater that I've had for probably like five or six years, maybe more. I just thrifted it, but I liked the color. It's extremely long, which is nice. And I call this one my grandpa sweater just because to me it looks like a grandpa sweater. I also have one like puffer long black jacket that I got from Amazon about like eight years ago. I don't know, it's been forever, but I wear that all the time. It's like my go-to jacket. That, I don't know where it is. I think it's in the car. This is what I wear to bed every night in the winter. I have the same two t-shirts that I wear in the summer and the winter. And then in the winter, I have two pairs of sweatpants. And then I have two pairs of shorts for the summer. So those shorts are upstairs in my bin. I have four purses. This is my go-to daily bag. It's from Coach. I thrifted it for $10. It was like one of my favorite thrift finds. This has all my stuff in it because I use it every day. And then I have this one that I think I bought on Poshmark. Like I didn't use this one this winter. Um, just because I feel like it's more of a spring and summer bag. These next two are more just for um, kind of like special occasions. This one is beautiful. It is made in France. It smells so good. It's very vintage. Again, thrifted it, surprise, surprise. This one I got at like an antique store, but it was not very expensive. And I just thought it was so cute. And I use this on like kind of dates or just special occasions during the spring and summer two beanies. I have this one from Ozma that is just amazing. It's like the thickest beanie you will ever find. And then I have my old and faithful Carhartt one. I wear this like every other day in the winter. I just love that one. And then I have this beautiful wool beret that I also thrifted. 
baseball caps, I have this one. It says, in God we trust. I wear this one a lot. I love just like the color of it. This one was a recent gift and it's just like a good like outdoorsy going on walks kind of hat. And then other hats, I have this straw one. Thrifted it for a dollar and it's the best thing ever. I love this one. This one, I wore it in my last video, just another straw hat. <laughs> this one is from Lack of Color. And then I have this one that I also thrifted. We have two beige hats and that's okay. <laughs> I have this bandana from Ozma that is beautiful that I love. And then this other one. I love to tie this one on my like straw bag. In the spring and summer, it just looks so cute and just kind of adds to it. I had a quite a few other bandanas, but I decluttered them and I literally put them in my like gift bin area so I could use them as wrapping paper when I give gifts to people. So I just have two hair clips. I like just that they're simple and they're like my colors. They go with a lot of my other things. This headband from Oddbird. And then my one hair tie other than my just like basic black hair ties. I have a total of 12 pairs of shoes. I have these two from Vivaya that I shared in a video. And these ones I wear often. I like these ones a lot. These ones I have yet to wear. And I don't know why. I am hoping to become a substitute teacher here in the next month or so. And so I'm kind of trying to like be aware of that as far as like my shoe options because I feel like these are more of like work wear. So I might wear these a lot more in the next coming months. So I'm gonna keep them for that reason. And then I have these two brown heel shoes. These are my clogs, which I think are just the cutest things ever. When I do go to like a wedding or some like fancy thing, I always wear these. So these are like my special occasion shoes that I'm keeping for that. And then I have my docs. These I thrifted, you guys, for 30 bucks, like two winters ago, I think. And then these were a birthday gift from my mom. I wear these like most of the time when I've gone out recently. They're just a very comfortable, practical shoe, but it like dresses up an outfit. So these are for sure one of my favorites. Other boots, I have these ones that I've had for probably 15 years, I don't know, 12 years. My mom bought them for me so long ago. These are some Blundstones that I bought used on Poshmark. I wear them when I go on walks. I've been taking Zion on walks on the canal almost every day. Just very casual, but comfortable, but cute at the same time. Next, I have my slides. These ones are from Saba. These are probably my most worn shoes. I wear them all the time. As you can see, they're absolutely dirty. These are also amazing. I got these from Etsy. They're like a more cost-effective version of the Saba. There's dust flying everywhere. <laughs> Lastly are these that are extremely dirty. They're the Birkenstocks that my mom got me. I'm holding them very weird. Okay. Wow. That was a lot. I'm a little bit out of breath, but I hope you guys like that. I hope you enjoyed seeing literally everything I own. I also wanted to share my processes for when I want to bring new things into my closet. I try to be very just intentional about it. So if I think about something that I want to add to my closet, whatever it is, I will just think about it, I'll put it on my list, and when the time comes and I'm like, okay, I actually want to add this to my wardrobe, then I will look on eBay or Poshmark or try and thrift something. And then let's say that I'm like out and about at a thrift store and I find something and I think it's like the most amazing thing and I wanna add it to my closet. I often will think, what can I like replace this with? And if it's something that is on my list, then I'll add it to my closet because it's been on my list. But if it's something that's not on my list, I will often get rid of something. And that's just kind of what I like to do to kind of keep like my numbers down. And not just for the sake of being like, oh, I only have 30 things in my closet, but for the sake of just like my sanity and just, less laundry, less choices in the morning, and just to have every single piece I love. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that it was inspiring to you in some way. Be sure to give it a like if you did like it and leave a comment down below of some ways that you're trying to be more intentional with your wardrobe or with your spending. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much. Bye.